detected other teams playing your line any differently the, lo the more success you guys have had in front of the long stretch? Mm -hmm. um, not really. I mean, when you're on the road, you're going to see the other team's checking line probably. And in Boston, we're going to see Chara all night um, tomorrow. And and that's fine. Obviously, he's a he's a great defenseman, maybe the best in the league. But um, on this uh, on the same hand, I mean, we're um, we're one of the top lines in the league right now. So it's a challenge you got to look at and and uh, kind of relish that opportunity and go out and try and, and and play hard against Chara and try and be a plus line. Did you? Did you notice any extra room through the neutral zone uh, the other night? Uh, you guys seem to be flying through that middle section. We just threw, through the neutral zone. We just played our game, and, and we're the we're the faster team of the two. And um, for us to be successful, that's how it's going to have to be. That being said, we're going to have to get a little stronger in front of our net and in front of their net if we uh, if we want to beat that team on a consistent basis. Is that a good way to combat Tim Thomas's athleticism? Do you think junk it up a bit there? A little bit, yeah. He's re he's really aggressive. He likes to come out and challenge pucks and and um, and just be aggressive the whole night in the crease. And and if you get a guy right in front of him, really battling and and make life a little tougher on him, he's still going to make great saves. I mean, he's a, he's the best goalie in the league, but. Um, if we can just make things a little more difficult for the whole night, uh, maybe we'll get a couple a couple bounces. As tough as it is to play on the off wing, uh, you seem to make it look easy, and uh, specifically on that goal where you appear to be jammed, but uh, you manage to get it off quickly. Is there a comfort zone there for you? Um, well, it's it's a little easier shooting the puck um, off that side, but that particular play was just a, a good play all around by Phil. I mean, he got the defenseman to commit and slid it across, and and uh, it was actually it was in a pretty good spot for me, so I, um, that's a shot that I like, and uh, I was able to bury it. Joffrey, how many guys have that speed burst that Phil had in the neutral zone there to lead to the two-on-one and the goal? Like, how many players in the league could even do what he did yeah. on that play? Not too many. Not me, for sure. <laughs> I'm just, just trying to keep up. Um, no, there's only a couple guys, uh, Crosby's, Ovechkin's, that seem to have that one, two, three those first couple steps and, and they're gone and Phil definitely has that uh, as good as anyone if not the best in the league so um, the key is to try and get him some of those pucks in open ice and, and uh, I think it was it was even Chara that time he just caught him flat footed and, and blew right by him. Jeffrey looks like James is close to coming back what sort of boost would he give your team? Well he would give us a, a little boost I think uh, we've been sitting here watching and, and hearing a lot about him more in the in the media and things like that about when he's going to come back. So it'll be nice to, to have him back just uh, so he can put all that behind him. And, and obviously you never want to see a guy out for an extended period of time with an injury. So um, when he gets back, um, it, it'll be a well-needed, um, I think, it'll almost be relaxing for him. I mean, he's been, this has probably been more stressful going through the injury than, than actually playing starting goalie. So uh, when he comes back, uh, that we'll all be happy for him. And, and Monster's done a good job while he's out, and, and we should have uh, two good goalies.